<laughs> oh no. Okay, so yeah, we got we got Decker versus Exka. Bit of Rob gameplay, which I like to see. A bit of Bayo play, play, which we like to see from Exka specifically, because this kid makes up combos as he goes. I love Exka, man. This uh, Bayo is he schmooze with this character, and uh, I have been on the receiving end of it one too many times for my liking. Yeah, the character can definitely, uh, well, Exka specifically can make you wish you didn't pick up this game sometimes because he, yeah. he, just, he just makes you disappear. Decker heard you talking, uh, talking crap about the Rob Green Rob skin. And he was like, "All right, all right, I'm gonna use it then." Let me show you something. <laughs> it's gonna make you remember the Green Robot skin, but uh... Ooh, ooh, caught oh. the caught the rebound of the afterburner kick with a back end. Beautiful. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was cool. okay. Reading the air dodge with the with the nair and now running away, popping a gyro. Fair enough. Play neutral. Play it safe. Exka's struggling right now. Barely got any damage on. And this, this is Rob as well, like, Rob kind of gets hits once and takes 90, but for some reason, Exeter has to be able to get it going that hard. That's a lovely reaction, getting the grab off on the um, on the afterburner kick on shield, and getting those bullets on, just getting that extra bit of damage on, which is something I love to see, making sure to get the maximum out of every neutral situation, rather than just laying down and letting them uh, and letting them recover for free. Yeah, I definitely, oh, here we go, oh, no, the gyro hit him the wrong way, because gyro does hit you at random angles sometimes. Good air dodge there from Decker. I am. Um, I, I did like that Decker uh, knew that they could just uh, like not not touch anything when they were floating down because Rob can come back from anywhere and Excalibur was like, nah, he he'll jump soon, he'll jump soon, he'll jump soon. But uh, no, Rob did Rob's not need just to jump. Rob's recovery, but better. So. Yeah, Rob. Rob can. Yeah, Rob can just kind of up be whenever he wants. He doesn't need to. Uh, doesn't need to panic. Oh but Esker's showing why this matchup is far from over when Bayo can put on this damage so quickly, but Decker is having none of it and sending for that blast zone with that big old side B. Mm -hmm. Do you know the one time I played against Decker? I, I, it was final, it was last hit, last game, best of five set, and I died at 30 from a side B. That was Rob, do me do that, it's really fair. I was very sad. I feel like you're not, you don't see as much Rob at the moment. And, well, like, I, I feel like there was a huge hate campaign against Rob, like, just a little, like, well, probably about nine months ago, everyone was hating on Rob. But now, like, the character just, like, kind of people have forgotten about him, because they've realised that this character's disadvantage is shockingly bad. Yeah, there's a hate campaign against every character, True, and yeah, in, some, in, in some realm of the Twitterverse, there's always a hate campaign gone against it. Trust me, I play one of the worst characters in the game, and there's a ha hate campaign against me. Uh, against Isabel every other day. <laughs> Good, as there should be, Isabel is lame. As there should be, Isabel is the lamest character in the game behind Steve, actually. Sorry, Steve's the lamest. My apologies. Yeah. Ooh. Right, here we go. The mix this could up. be it. Okay, yeah, Ooh, no, good air dodge. Yeah, good, good, good mash and air dodge from Mexico. Can be quite scary to do that. She's on Wi Fi. Well, I had the, the uh, attempt of the gyro throw to get the edge guard, but uh, Exca just holds them there, which means the gyro just kind of disappears. Okay, uh -oh. this could be dangerous uh -oh. than the deck up. I'm scared. I'm it's scared. No. Oh my no, god. No. Showing that is, how, what that is, the is unacceptable. <laughs> oh my word. Showing that Rob's disadvantage state is really one of his yeah. big weaknesses coming through Ooh. there. And just what percent did that start at? I don't even. I would be. Now, to be fair, he was at like 90 when the combo ended, I think. But that. Uh -huh. I would be upset. <laughs> I would not be happy with that one. It was sick though, so I mean, uh, I give it to Esker, lovely conversions off of the Bayo combos, um, and making sure to just, as I say, I feel like Esker's one of the best Bayo players, uh, well, uh, getting a lot of, uh, a lot of the best Bayo players are so good at getting massive conversions out of their, um, the out of their hit, rather than just going for the simple ones that they know they go for, they make sure to push their advantage state to the maximum. Yeah, this kid definitely knows how to like push a conversion the furthest it can go. You know what I mean? Like the, the kid doesn't mess around. He's so good. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not, it's, it's, <laughs> it do be quite unfair for sure. I'm old now. What the hell? It's young people are taking me over and mixing me up with these bear combos. I can't deal with it. <laughs> I remember I used to feel young, and then I was like, and then I saw that Exca's. Uh, tag was like Exca 2005 or something and it just makes you feel ill. Yeah, one of the first things, uh, one of the first time I'm playing was in like the original Cargo Wi-Fi Weeklies uh, and uh, <laughs> it was when no one really knew who he was and I was like oh yeah, and I talked to him for the first time and he was like oh yeah, I come. he was like oh yeah, I'm like, he's really young and I was like oh, uh, <laughs> yeah that's cool and that was the first time I was like man, I'm old. <laughs> I'm not old but... 
I'm seeing a quick 60% put on from Eskra as well. A far cry from the first game in which uh, Decker took the early lead, but maybe this is the difference maker. Maybe if Decker, if Eskra gets the early lead, it will go in Decker's favor this time, but Eskra not looking to let that happen with these big, big conversions going down quickly and taking Decker to the Blossom, but just not quite finishing him off. All right, so I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry to have to uh, just kind of derail the conversation a bit, but GP just put in chat, did you know that the Numa Numa meme was be born <laughs> was born up, uh, before x was? Which is, yeah, that makes me feel extremely old. Like, I'm 26, man. I'm not exactly old, but man, when I, <laughs> when I TO and stuff, I sure do feel old. That is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Damn, that killed her. Like... Like 80%. Yeah, that, that was really nice from Decker. The really nice conversion. Now getting the 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 Rob kind of carrying you across stage with dash attack down tilt. That's the classic. That's my favorite thing to do as Rob. Just down tilt people forever. Dude, Rob down tilt is one of the funniest moves. It's I definitely an e it's definitely a satanic <laughs> move. It's it's definitely evil. Yeah. It's very. Evil. He's staring at the ground and he's going. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> yeah. It's a little beep he makes as well. It's truly BM. Yeah, it's gross. But a lot of people were uh, right. A, bit, a tip if you guys are struggling against Rob, and I know some of you are. At low percent, if uh, if you're at low percent, he doesn't have an out of shield option against you because his fair is his only out of shield, and it's unsafe on hit until like 30 or 40 percent. Oh Damn, my god, he's he going really deep with those yeah, back airs. He did it earlier on as well to get to almost kill him on the first stock when he went really deep. Esker really not afraid to just jump down, use his fast full speed to get down there and go for these big punishes, which is honestly the difference maker between a lot of the t a lot of the higher level players is. They don't just sit a ledge and wait to choose an option when you recover. They go down like this and make sure that you are feeling the pressure when you're off stage. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And, you know, a character like Bayo doesn't really have a reason to be scared. They've got debatably like the best recovery in the game. Um, but really smart of Exca to fully utilize that nice back air there. Back air. Lovely spacing on that yeah, move. Yeah, really nice. That was like just the tip of the flame like hitting Exca there. That was really, really nice. And, you, and leaving the gyro on the floor there to kind of keep it safe either way. That was really, really smart. I love that. Very dangerous now for Decca though, using the uh, gyro to slow down Bayo a bit to manage to get out. Oh no, oh, oh, no. no, Wait, oh no. no, no, he's fine, he's fine, he's not fine, he he's is dead. not he's fine. Not. He is not okay, he is dead. <laughs> Talking about Bayo having a great recovery, but not great enough to save you from those kind of mistakes. But hopefully, Eska doesn't let affect him that uh, let it affect him that much into the next game. And just as I said, whoever gets the early lead loses. So maybe in the next game, it will be whoever can just take the first bit of damage. Mm, maybe, maybe that's the that's the indicator here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, but we'll see if uh, what stage we'll be going to next. What kind of stage do you think we'll be seeing it? Do you think we'll see PS2 again, or do you think we'll make it switch over? I wouldn't be surprised to just see it PS2 again, because it's not really the stage that these two are like, you know, struggling with, you know? I mean, but Exka did just get caught under PS2. True, but, <laughs> yeah, but like that—that that would have happened. Like, uh, at least he had the chance there to wall cling. But like any other stage, he would have just True. died. You know, maybe Kalos, he might have made that back. I guess, but that's about it. Honestly, I'm. Uh, I feel like Rob's one of those characters that I never know what stages like I should pick against him because I'm like, man, I feel like I just get hit, and like he, he doesn't struggle a lot. I feel like on small stages, I'm more likely to die early to like side on big stages. He gets the space to use gyro more efficiently and neutral, and so I'm like, it's just a lose lose. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I do really enjoy seeing um, uh, Rob plays. He does have some real big schmixes he can get going. Mm. I, I think I think he's a really cool character. Like I always I always like the idea of a character that just has like an item that they can just bring in to control the neutral in some way. For some reason, that's always just been a cool concept to me. I don't think yeah, Smash really does it. Well. I don't think Smash really does it all that well. But um... no, I, I like it as well. And then I like taking it away from them and seeing them cry. And that's uh, one of my favorite things to do as well. <laughs> uh, it's one of those. It's like uh, I was playing the Gateway Guest Drive there and. Uh, I really like um, Forced in it as well because all the item shenanigans he can get going with his <laughs> with his uh, moves as well are really fun. I just realized we have a bit of a delay because they messed up on Smash GG. <laughs> they uh, reported the wrong school. Oh well, I do that. I've done that way too much as well. And you just like it's it's when both it's like both sides have to do it as well. So neither of them are like, oh, it was your fault. It's just like you just click buttons because you're like, oh yeah, this is probably right, and then you're like, oh. God, no, we got it wrong. 
Yeah, I just got sent uh, that that image of go my child hold down the neutral um, by GP and that is literally like what I like. I, I find that really yeah. funny. I swear to God, sex habit. If you force me to face Edgar next game, I will never forgive Rob Mains. Rob Mains as a whole, <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. I understand that. If I was a. Uh, Edgar is a force to be reckoned with, but honestly, you know, Big Sex have a 69 is showing that he's having a good showing here as well, and uh, definitely Rob's a force to be reckoned with. And honestly, Rob's one of those characters, uh, similar to like Captain Falcon and stuff, where it's like, if you get hit at any percent, I could be dead. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, <laughs> if the <laughs> opponent really does some heavy reads on me and shakes me super hard, I'm dead, and there's not much I can do about it. So yeah. it's yeah, uh, sure. definitely a worry to face in the in high tension games as well. And I feel like it happens a lot more when it comes down to game threes and stuff. Mm. Uh, okay, just waiting on. Why is this not working? Ah, these guys have one. Hold on, let me just. You know what I would do because I'm really lazy. I would just leave it and wait to see if Exca wins. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm tempted to. Too. <laughs> I mean, and then just worry about fixing it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these guys just. Uh, that smash GG. To be fair, it can be can be awkward. Yeah. Uh, Smash GG, I feel like, is a lot of time it's like, oh, it's really good and it's a super useful tool, and then something goes wrong and it just seems to have no way to fix itself. It's like, well, sucks, you just gotta deal with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was looking at Mithras frame data while I was waiting because I was interested to see a lot of it, and almost every single one of her moves is under 10 frames. The only wow. one that isn't is forward smash. That's great. Every other, every, like up smash, down smash, uh, uh, and everything else is under 10 frames, and forward smash is 14 frames. And she does is have this a frame. Pyra or Mithra? Uh, Mithra? Mithra, did I say yeah. Pyra? No, no, I don't think you did. I'm just crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, even her down smash is frame 8, and her up smash is frame 9. Damn. And all her aerials are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I read in chat earlier that apparently the um, backwards or the last hit of Mithra up air is minus one on shield or something. Uh, it says minus five on Smash Data, uh, but I don't know if it's like the final. If you space it properly oh, and maybe. stuff, it'll be minus one. But maybe, maybe. Even her neutral B is frame nine. Like that's not bad. No. <laughs> right, we should be getting into game three now. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. We're just having some technical issues with Smash GG. Because these these zoomers have no attention span. Yeah, they just click the green button. And like, Sabby, yeah, right. Sabby beat Lids. Sabby is in Ooh. winner's side top eight. James one and two, the perfect clone beat Bengus as well. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, the perfect clone. Yeah, that's right. He's been going crazy. James one and two is actually a winner's side top eight right now. Damn, great showing. Is yeah. it the first time he's uh, been in this bracket? Yeah, I think so. Damn, good showing. It's coming off. He's got the Rowlet profile picture as well. Rowlet is a sick Pokemon. So mm. sure. Right, let's do this. Finally, we can move on with this. Uh, with this, the rest of the <laughs> the rest of the tournament. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, thank you for the for the bits. That's really sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, Hazel. And no problem for hosting. Thank you for entering. It was good to see you. But thank you for the bits, appreciate that. I didn't realize I still made a noise, that kind of like scared me. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, getting, we're getting into this game number phase yeah, on FD, the final destination for the final game. How appropriate. And we're seeing both players uh, starting out getting big exchanges off, and it's going to be almost even here in the early game. And... We've seen, I was going to say, once again, another deep edge guard from Exco, he really wants these kills. Rob is so big, it's so easy to hit him a lot of the time, but it can be hard to edge guard him. And thank you for the follow as well, Hazel, appreciate that. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, he's a beautiful edge guard coming out from Edgeco. Yeah. Honestly, as I was saying earlier, ooh, this... Up here? Not quite. Oh, oh my god, with the into oh. the back air, fair enough. Oh. I mean, why not? Yeah, fair enough. Ek saying there is no escape from Rob. No matter what you do, you are dead. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, I was going to say earlier that Rob definitely has a good recovery in the sense of it's very, it goes very far and you can mix it up pretty decently, but oh, oh my, my god, Exca, chill out, man, that's 63%. Yeah, that's... Oh my god. Decker just wants to... Decker literally just wants to feel what the floor's like again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's, uh, it, it, honestly, I feel like Rogue faces all the same problems that Isabel and Villager face with recovery, where it's like, okay, it's a really good recovery and it goes far, but it goes far, there's but not you much can't... you can do. Like, yeah. if someone if you have a hitbox, so if someone's walking at you, you're just going to get hit. you got to remember, though, uh, Rob can cancel his into aerials whenever he wants to, so you can. Rob definitely has more options than a character like those two, you know. But no, yeah, I think but... he might be out of fuel nearly, not quite. He's de definitely low because he's not touching the floor very much. There you go, he gets a bit of time on the floor, gets to refuel the fuel a little bit. Honestly, though, it's down. Esco's being so fast, dropping down and choosing these options yep. so decisively, just like that, finishing yeah. off a deck for catching him. Maybe when he doesn't least expect it, because he hadn't done that yet in these in this set so far, going for those guns and uh, showing that just quick, decisive decisions can honestly make such a big difference in a lot of these games. Mm -hmm. Just waiting at ledge. Why does Rob shake on the ledge? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, a weird one is like when you break um, Samus' shield, she looks like she's glitching out. She like shakes all over the place. It's really weird. I, I assume yeah, it's because her, her suit is meant to be like broken or whatever, but it's really yeah, strange. Yeah. Oh, Deckard nearly had the read on that back here. And I think no that, fear from Exca. Yeah, no fear at all. I mean, it's it's, it's ABK from ledge. There, there's no reason for them to fear. <laughs> there's no reason to be scared. <laughs> yeah, no reason to be scared. <laughs> if you can beat a Rob back here, you can beat anything. Although I actually turned around to that gyro and his instant reaction was the shield. He was like, yeah, I'm going to ask. Oh, my God. Oh, no. oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. He's dead. He's yeah, dead. yeah. He would have died. Oh he died my... from that. That was so stupid. <laughs> that was actually Good really job. clean, though. That was Exca, so clean. really clean. Going for really, the really deep edge guards. No fear Dang. coming yeah, out. And that was 